Yo, what's going on guys? Sean here for the full-time doubles match review of the Manchester United versus Sunderland match. The game is ended 2-1 at the Stadium of Light. Another shocking performance for Manchester United. No excuses whatsoever. And if there's any chance of us making it into the top four, the chances are extremely slim. And this is all but ourselves to blame. All but Louis van Gaal and the players. A disheartening performance against the side that we really should have beaten. Against a relegation-threatened Sunderland side. And we made Sunderland look extremely good today. And we made Sam Allardyce's tactical decision spot on today. And that's Louis van Gaal's support to blame there. And first of all, before we even discuss the match, the, the starting 11 selection. We've seen many a times this season when we line up two out-and-out -out holding midfielders or two players who lack that kind of pace. We saw that we struggled to you know, gain control in that midfield when we had somebody like Morgan Schneider line up alongside Bastian Schweinsteiger. Yes! Bastian Feinsteiger has the ability to be able to move up through the thirds a little bit more. But today, when you line up Michael Carrick, two holding midfielders in a double pivot role, you can't allow yourself to be able to you know, withstand that pressure and turn that ball and move through the thirds. As we've seen today against Sunderland, who really you know, provided, absolutely gave us no time whatsoever on the ball. Whenever anybody in this sort of midfield role received that ball, whether it be Michael Carrick or Morgan Steinland or at times Mata, they pressed immediately. They gave us no time whatsoever. And you can't expect somebody like Michael Carrick to be able to make a half turn, go up, and find that sort of, you know, pinpoint pass through the thirds. He's not, he doesn't have the legs for that anymore. Nor is he that sort of player, you know. Yes, he can, yes, he can abstain and withstand that sort of pressure and distribute the ball. But this kind of game, we need that kind of player to be able to make that half turn and distribute that ball forwards. And I think Ander Herrera would have excelled very well in that sort of situation. In this single pivot, maybe in this inverted triangle formation. But... Once again, Louis Van Gaal, Michael Carrick, Morgan Schneiderlin doesn't work out. Overrun in midfield. The first opening 20 minutes, completely opposite of how we performed against Chelsea and Derby County. We were overrun in that first 20 minutes. Absolutely shocking. And none of the players up top provided any answer either. Maybe Mata and Martial at times. Really, really good link-up plays between them. Fantastic shot attempt before Martial with a fantastic, great finish to be able to give us that one goal. But... Bar these three, maybe, bar these three, we just showed no resolve anywhere else. Jesse Lingard, 25 touches. Matteo Darbian struggling to get himself involved in that first half before, unfortunately, being subbed out due to a dislocated shoulder. It's been confirmed that he should be out for at least seven weeks. A terrible injury once again. Uh, it was... We showed no answer through this right-hand side. And if I was Louis Van Gaal, I would have subbed out Lingard right away. He was being tossed around like a rag doll. And he was being, there was no, whether it be a soft contact or a hard contact, Jesse Lingard was being thrown around. And maybe Memphis could have done a little bit more. But, once again, I'm at a loss for words. Shocking performance from Manchester United. And our chances of top four seems to be very, very, sl very, very slim. Anyways, get your guys, get your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what your thoughts were on the match and how we can f sort of figure this out. And if you guys want a more detailed analysis from me, you guys can come checking me out at my channel, at Global Reds TV. And make sure to subscribe to the full-time doubles. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The only way into the Champions League, I feel, for us now is through the back door in the Europa League. And that makes Thursday's game against Michigan very, very, very important. And why are we saying that about the Europa League? I can't stand the Europa League. I'd love if we stuck our under-21s out there on Thursday and just forgot about it. But now it's become important to us. The Europa League's important to Manchester United. So it's all about how far we've fallen.